Jeffrey Jacob J. J. Abrams is an American director, producer, writer, and composer, best known for his work in the genres of action, drama, and science fiction. Abrams wrote and or produced feature films such as Regarding Henry, Forever Young, Armageddon, and Cloverfield. He created or co-created a number of TV drama series, including Felicity, Alias, Lost, and Fringe. His directorial film work includes Star Trek and its sequel Star Trek Into Darkness, Mission, Impossible 3 and Super 8. He also directed and co-wrote Star Wars, The Force Awakens, the first film in the Star Wars sequel trilogy. In his career, Abrams has been nominated for seven Emmy Awards, winning two for Lost, Outstanding Directing for a Drama Series and Outstanding Drama Series. Abrams's frequent creative collaborators include actors Simon Pegg and Greg Grunberg, writers Alex Kurtzman and Roberto Orsi, composer Michael Giacchino, cinematographers Daniel Mindel and Larry Fong, and editors Mary Ann Brandon and Mary Jo Markey. Early life Abrams was born in New York City and raised in Los Angeles, the son of television producer Gerald W. Abrams and executive producer Carol Ann Abrams. His sister is screenwriter Tracy Rosen. He attended Palisades High School. After high school, Abrams planned to go to film school rather than to an academic college but eventually enrolled at Sarah Lawrence College. Following his father's advice, it's more important that you go off and learn what to make movies about than how to make movies. Career 1990s Abrams's first job in the movie business started when he was 16 when he wrote the music for Don Dola's film Night Beast. During his senior year at college, he teamed with Jill Mazursky to write her feature film Treatment. Purchased by Touchstone Pictures, the treatment was the basis for taking care of business. Abrams's first produced film, which starred Charles Grodin and James Belushi. He followed that up with Regarding Henry, starring Harrison Ford, and Forever Young, starring Mel Gibson. He also co-wrote with Mazursky the script for the comedy Gone Fission, starring Joe Pesky and Danny Glover. In 1994, he was part of the Propeller Heads, with Rob Letterman, Lauren Soman, and Andy Weisler, a group of Sarah Lawrence alums experimenting with computer animation technology who were contracted by Jeffrey Katzenberg to develop animation for the film Shrek. Abrams worked on the screenplay for the 1998 film Armageddon with producer Jerry Bruckhammer and director Michael Bay. That same year, he made his first foray into television with Felicity, which ran for four seasons on the WB network. Serving as the series' co-creator and executive producer, he also composed its opening theme music. 2000s under his production company, Bad Robot, which he founded with Brian Burke in 2001. Abrams created and executive produced ABC's Alias and is co-creator and executive producer of Lost. He later co-wrote the teleplay for Lost's third season premiere, A Tale of Two Cities, as with Felicity. Abrams also composed the opening theme music for Alias and Lost. In 2001, Abrams co-wrote and produced the thriller Joyride, and wrote an unproduced screenplay for a fifth Superman film in 2002. In 2006, he served as executive producer of What About Brian and Six Degrees, also on ABC. Abrams directed and wrote the two-part pilot for Lost and remained active producer for the first half of the season. That same year, he made his feature directorial debut in 2006 with Mission Impossible 3, starring Tom Cruise. Abrams spoke at the TED conference in 2007. In 2008, Abrams produced the monster movie Cloverfield. In 2009, he directed the science fiction film Star Trek, which he produced with Lost co-creator Damon Lindelof. While it was speculated that they would be writing and producing an adaptation of Stephen King's The Dark Tower series of novels, they publicly stated in November 2009 that they were no longer looking to take on that project.
In 2008, Abrams co-created, executive produced, and co-wrote the Fox science fiction series Fringe, for which he also composed the theme music. He was featured in the 2009 MTV Movie Awards 1980s-style digital short, Cool Guys Don't Look at Explosions, with Andy Samberg and Will Ferrell, in which he plays a keyboard solo. NBC picked up Abrams' Undercovers as its first new drama series for the 2010-11 season. However, it was subsequently cancelled by the network in November 2010. In 2008, it was reported that Abrams purchased the rights to a New York Times article, Mystery on Fifth Avenue, about the renovation of an $8.5 million co-op, a division of property originally owned by E. F. Hutton & Co. and Marjorie Merriweather Post for six figures and was developing a film titled Mystery on Fifth Avenue with Paramount Pictures and Bad Robot Productions, and comedy writers Maya Forbes and Wally Wolodarski to write the adaptation. According to the article, a wealthy couple Stephen B. Klinsky and Maureen Sherry purchased the apartment in 2003 and lived there with their four children. Soon after purchasing the apartment, they hired young architectural designer Eric Clough who devised an elaborately clever scavenger hunt built into the apartment that involved dozens of historical figures. A fictional book and a soundtrack woven throughout the apartment in puzzles, riddles, secret panels, compartments, and hidden codes. Without the couple's knowledge, the family didn't discover the embedded mystery until months after moving into the apartment. After Abrams purchased the article, Clough left him an encrypted message in the wall tiles of a Christian Louboutin shoe store he designed in West Hollywood. 2010s he wrote and directed the Paramount science fiction movie Super 8. While co-producing with Steven Spielberg and Brian Burke, it was released on June 10, 2011. Abrams directed the sequel to Star Trek, Star Trek Into Darkness, released in May 2013. On January 25, 2013, the Walt Disney Studios and Lucasfilm officially announced Abrams as director and producer of Star Wars. The Force Awakens, the seventh entry in the Star Wars film saga, Disney, Lucasfilm also announced that Brian Bork and Bad Robot Productions would produce the feature. Following the news that he would direct The Force Awakens, speculation arose as to Abrams's future with Paramount Pictures with whom he had released all of his previously directed feature work, and which had a first-look deal with his bad robot productions. Paramount Vice Chairman Rob Moore stated that Abrams will continue to have a hand in the highly successful Star Trek and Mission Impossible franchises going forward. Abrams directed, produced, and co-wrote the screenplay for Star Wars. The Force Awakens, working alongside Lawrence Kasdan, following the departure of co-writer Michael Arndt. Star Wars. The Force Awakens opened in theaters on December 18, 2015. Abrams announced at the 2013 DICE conference that Bad Robot had made a deal with Valve Corporation to produce a film based on either the video game title Portal or Half-Life. On September 9, 2013, it was announced that Abrams would release a novel, S, written by Doug Dorst. The book was released on October 29, 2013. Personal Life Abrams is married to public relations executive Katie McGrath and has three children. He resides in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, California. He is Jewish and sometimes takes his children to religious services. Filmography. Feature credits, television credits, music video credits, awards and nominations.